The Lucy Show, a well-loved TV show from the early 1960s, has a special place in TV history. This show didn't just make people laugh. It also highlighted the great skills of its actors. Let's take a closer look at this show and find out what makes it still so popular. What keeps this show so appealing after all these years? Is it the great comedy timing, the situations we can all relate to, or something else? Every episode seems to have its own special charm. And talking about the actors, who was your favorite from the classic Hollywood stars in the series? There were many memorable actors, each adding their own special touch. We're interested in your personal experiences with The Lucy Show. Do you have a favorite episode or a special memory related to the show? Please share your thoughts and stories in the comments. We're eager to hear from you. Thinking about this show brings to mind a mix of humor, emotions, and history, making it a great topic to talk and think about. The Lucy Show, initially aired in the early 1960s, presented a humorous and engaging portrayal of two single mothers, Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance, as they navigate life's challenges together. This show, a follow-up to the beloved I Love Lucy, retained a charm and wit that resonated with its audience, particularly in its first season. The dynamic between Ball and Vance was a significant factor in the success of the series, as they convincingly played friends struggling in a world with few male characters. However, the departure of Vance in 1965 marked a turning point for the series. The show began to lose its original appeal, with Lucille Ball's character evolving into a more exaggerated, cartoon-like version of herself. This shift in character dynamics, combined with an increased reliance on guest stars, suggested a departure from the show's initial premise. Additionally, Gail Gordon and Mary Jane Croft, who were brought in as replacements, did not quite fill the void left by Vance's departure. This change led to a decrease in the show's originality and depth. Despite these later challenges, the early episodes, particularly those involving humorous scenarios like installing a shower or starting a caramel corn business, are remembered fondly for their classic comedy style. These episodes highlighted the show's ability to deliver laughter and entertainment, a testament to the comedic skills of its lead actors. Unfortunately, the transfer quality of these episodes to DVD has been noted as subpar, which might hinder new generations from fully appreciating the show's original charm. This issue highlights the importance of preserving classic television shows in high-quality formats for future audiences. In summary, The Lucy Show offered a delightful viewing experience, particularly in its early seasons, thanks to the strong chemistry between Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance. The show's later seasons, however, did not quite maintain the same level of comedic excellence, largely due to significant cast changes and a shift in the show's direction. Nevertheless, the series remains a notable part of early television comedy, offering glimpses into the era's humor and societal norms. Lucille Ball's experiences while filming her television shows included life-threatening incidents that were captured on camera, illustrating the physical demands and risks involved in comedy. During an episode of I Love Lucy, she choked on a grape, requiring the intervention of crew members to save her. Similarly, in an episode titled Lucy and Vive put in a shower, she nearly drowned during a scene involving a flooding shower, with Vivian Vance ultimately coming to her rescue. These moments highlight the unpredictability and hazards that can occur during the production of a comedy series. Lucy Arnaz, daughter of Lucille Ball, offered a personal perspective on her mother's personality. As reported in the biography Ball of Fire, Arnaz described Ball as very cold and a control freak. This comment provides insight into the personal dynamics and character traits of the celebrated actress contrasting with her public persona. Gail Gordon's career was notably intertwined with Ball's. He appeared in all her television series, starting from My Favorite Husband through to Life with Lucy. His consistent presence across these shows demonstrates a strong professional relationship and perhaps a reliance on his acting prowess to complement Ball's comedic style. In summary, these aspects of Lucille Ball's life and career offer a deeper understanding of the challenges and complexities behind the scenes of her television productions. Her close calls during filming and her daughter's candid remarks about her personality, along with Gail Gordon's recurring role in her shows, provide a fuller picture of the iconic actress and the environment in which she worked. Lucille Ball's issues with Joan Crawford during their work together show the tough times they had off screen. Ball really wanted Gloria Swanson instead, showing how much she cared about doing things right and making a good show. This situation shows how dedicated she was to high standards in her career. 
The sixth season of the show was its most popular, proving that it kept getting better and keeping viewers interested. It was the second most watched show, showing how much people liked it and kept tuning in. This popularity, especially in its last season, shows how good the show was and how faithful its fans were. Having 30 episodes from different seasons become freely available to the public is an important part of the show's story. These episodes let people see how the show changed over time and the different kinds of stories it told. Now that episodes like Lucy and Vive put in a shower and Lucy and the French movie star are free for everyone to watch, more people can appreciate the show's historical and cultural significance. These parts of the show's story, from the difficulties behind the scenes to its lasting popularity and free episodes, help us understand why it's an important TV show. They give us a look at how a classic comedy series worked and its lasting effect on its audience then and in the future. Lucille Ball and Joan Crawford working together on the show was tough. Crawford spoke honestly about how strong Ball's personality was, showing the tension that can happen behind the scenes in comedy shows. The show ended in the late 1960s because Ball sold her production company. This sale meant she no longer owned the show, leading to its end. But Ball bounced back, starting a new production company and a new sitcom, Here's Lucy. This show would how she could adapt and keep succeeding in TV. While leading the Zillu, Ball made a big choice that changed TV history. She said yes to Star Trek, which was a new and different kind of show. This choice helped make a wide range of shows at her company and started the huge Star Trek series that's still popular. Ball's decision shows how she influenced more than just her own show. Understanding these parts of the show and Ball's career helps us see the ups and downs in the TV business back then. The mix of personal dynamics, business choices, and creative risks all played a part in shaping the show and its effect on TV history. Lucille Ball's behavior with her co-stars and staff show with different sides of her personality. While some thought she was harsh to many people she worked with, there were exceptions. For example, Carol Burnett, a good friend, said Lucille was tough because she had to run a successful show. Lucille really liked Gail Gordon and treated him very well, which was clear to everyone. Interestingly, even though she had issues with others, she got along well with William Frawley, even though he didn't get along with Vivian Vance. Vivian Bagley's role in the show was groundbreaking because she was the first regular character on TV who was divorced. This was a big deal because it showed what how society in the United States was changing. The show was so popular that it even reached out to the Beatles for a guest appearance. However, the famous band said no. Still, the show had famous guests like Frankie Avalon and Donny Osmond who appeared on Here's Lucy, the follow-up show. These guest stars brought a touch of what was popular in culture at the time to the show. Looking at these parts of how the show was made and who was cast in it gives us a better understanding of what goes on behind the scenes in the entertainment business. It also shows how influential and popular the show was when it aired. 